Dodge was like, nah, no. I, if, if someone works, at, like, again, if someone works at Dodge, knows exactly why. I, I don't know, man. They, they said it can't happen, so. you guys for tapping in with your boy um if you're watching this for the first time this is what you can expect on the channel man we talk about car news some of the latest topics when it comes into the world of mopar and dodge uh we hit up a couple car meets here and there uh we do car mods and I actually bring some of my other people's on the channel with dope rides i'll put them on the channel and showcase their rides as well so thank you for tuning in and checking me out. For all my returning viewers, I wanna thank you guys for continuing to rock with me and supporting me on this YouTube journey, man. We can't, we can't do this without y'all, man. So thank you, thank you, thank you. You see the title, you see the thumbnail, no clip bait or cap on this channel, am I recording? Make sure, yes, I'm recording. So, I don't want y'all to read too much in this, but just hear me out real quick, man. So, I was on the Dodge website looking at some options for cars. Now, I'm not buying a car anytime soon. I got some bigger stuff in play at the moment and I can't be buying a car. If you know me personally, you probably know what I'm talking about, but I can't, I, I can't be buying a car at the moment, man. So, but it does not stop me from going there and looking to see, you know, I just wanna, you know, look at a couple of options and things like that. So, with the Charger and the Challenger, they're pretty much the same car, a lot of people will agree. They're the same car, except one is four door, one is two door. You get them in the same colors, you get them with the same engines, only difference is transmissions uh you get a, a manual in a challenger you can't get in a charger you know pretty much the same car like if you sit behind the wheel of a challenger it looks almost like the charger and vice versa i don't think y'all would believe me but there are certain options that you can get on one car but can't get on the other i'm not talking about big stuff like the obvious stuff. i'm not talking about the transmission i'm not talking about certain trims like a shaker hood or hood pins and things like that i'm talking about this small things that you would not that you would wouldn't expect that you can only get on one car or the other but if you deep dive into the website that is the case there are things that you can't get on both cars and i'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through a couple of those things here that i noticed so here are the four things that dodge will not let you get on both cars so one of the first things here is that i talked about in my previous uh video about certain options you should not buy because i feel like it was overpriced um, and this is something I didn't know was different. So for the chargers, uh, I, I talked about uh, that you can get uh, the, gla the, the gloss, the black gloss roof for the charger as an option. The funny thing is you can't get it for the Challenger. You can only get a satin black roof for the Challenger. I mean, to me, it'll be the same if you did it either or, but for some reason, Dodge will not let you do a uh, satin black roof on its own for the Charger, but you can do it for the Challenger but you can't do a gloss black roof for the Challenger, but you can do it for the Charger. I thought it was kind of odd, but maybe there's a reason behind it, but that's one of the first things I noticed. Now this next one's gonna be a pretty big one. So for the people with the Hellcats out there, if you get a Hellcat and a Challenger, you do have the option to get cloth seats. Granted, uh, I know a lot of people feel like if you're paying $60,000 for a car, you shouldn't get cloth seats, but in a Challenger, you can do that. However, in the Charger, the Charger does not allow you to get cloth seats in a Hellcat. You can't do it. For whatever reason, they said no. You know, same car, same seats. You can own, you can get cloth seats in the Challenger, but can't get them in the Charger, man. And, it, and if I got the picture, I'll put it up here. But I, I don't know why, but Dodge said no. They said no, you cannot put cloth seats in our Chargers. We can do it in the Challenger, but not in the Charger. So if someone knows, let me know, man. So this next thing is kind of odd, um, and I didn't notice it. And, and after, you, after I talk about it, you probably would be like, dang, I didn't know that. Um, with the chargers and challenger you can both get them in scat packs of course one of the options for the charger you can actually get the charger with the stripes on it and when it comes to the scat pack but a scat pack challenger you cannot get stripes on it the only stripe you can get is the the scat pack stripe on the tail but you can't get the dual stripes that go down the go down the whole car the only way you can get stripes on the whole car for the challenger is getting an srt but they allow you to get the stripes 
on the scat pack in the Chargers. I don't know why. I mean, I feel like it'll be easy to do either way, but they won't let you do it. Dodge was like, nah, no. I, if, if someone works, at, like, again, if someone works at Dodge, knows exactly why that they would not let you put strikes on a scat pack challenger, but will let you put it on a charger, let me know. Um, I feel like it would, wouldn't be that big of a deal, but apparently it is. Uh, personally, I wouldn't buy strikes from the factory. I got, like I said, I got a video on that, how I feel they are overpriced. You can do it cheaper yourself on the aftermarket, but I, I don't know, man. They, they said it can't happen, so it can't happen. All right, so the last one. Uh, this is going down to the RT model. So if you're looking to add like a, a certain package to your to your Challenger, um, one of the things you can do, you can add a package for the nine and a half inch wheels on your Challenger. So it's part of a performance package. Even though the Challenger and RT Charger are pretty much almost the same car, they won't let you do it for the Charger. You cannot add a nine and a half inch wheel on the Charger. If you guys are not uh, familiar with it, the nine and a half wheels um, only come on like using the, the, the uh, Dynamics package for the scat packs and on SRT models like Hellcats, the narrow bodies, right? But you can also option on your Challenger RT to get nine and a half inch wheels, but you can't do it on a Charger. Granted, they will fit both cars, but they won't let you put it on both cars, which is another weird thing that I found on there while, you know, just shopping around. Not shopping, window shopping, because I'm not looking to buy anything. Now, those are the four things that I didn't know that you couldn't get on both cars. If anyone has any true reason why you can't do it, I would love to hear why. Uh, it's very interesting that the cars are really identical. The chassis is identical to the, for the most part. The engine's identical. The trims are identical. The colors are identical. Pretty much the cars are the same car one's a two-door one's a four-door but yet there are a lot of options that you can only get on one car but can't get on the other that seem to be kind of petty if you ask me but if someone knows let me know because I, I really want to know why now it's gonna be kind of a quick video man i want to appreciate you guys for tuning in remember to subscribe to the channel man lock it in um to tune into your boy for the long haul man catch you on the next video we are out cut it